Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 156. I have a ton of finished objects to share with you guys. There's actually 30 altogether, but most they're all small things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> I got a whole list here of everything I got to share with you. I still only have one whip, and that's the Maria's Blue Crown Christmas Blanket, but I got some finished objects for that. And then it's still also a whip as well. But I'm trying to get some more work done on it because I'd like to get it done this year. But, you know, whatever. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and dive in because it's a lot. A whole lot of stuff. <laughs> All right. So first, um, I have three amigurumis that I made for Jesse out of the Stringy Ding Ding new book, Plenty of Fish in the Sea. Um, I'm going to be talking about that a lot <laughs> because Jesse wants pretty much everything out of it. And actually, I have yarn pulled out to start on another project for him out of it. He wants the whale shark. And uh, he picked up the yarn last night for it. It's going to be kind of a goofy looking uh, whale shark. But he wants it in those colors. So I'm going to make it in those colors. <coughs> but the ones that I have made this past week for him. The shark's a little beat up because he's been playing with it a lot. But I made the shark. So here's the shark. <laughs> he took this to school. I'll insert a photo here. For people who are in the Facebook group and to get to see it. But he took it to school for show and tell. And he was super excited about it. And he said that all the kids liked it and stuff. So it was really cute that he took it to show and tell. But that's the shark. <laughs> he is made with, uh, the gray is Premier Just Yarn. Aaron weight. So it's a little bit thicker than Worsty weight that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then the white is Red Heart White. And that little tiny bit of red <laughs> is Cherry Red. He has safety eyes. He's cute. Jesse loves him. He sleeps with him a lot and I uh, actually had to kind of hide it <laughs> so that I could uh, make this video because he, it would have been, you know, somewhere in Olsen house. But there's his shark, which he loves. And then uh, he also asked for me to make the squid, which I did make and this is a weird looking squid. <laughs> I let him pick out his own colors when I make him anything because, uh, you know, I want him to be independent that way. <laughs> I don't want to like tell him what, you know, the shark, he picked out actual shark colors, so that just worked. But I don't want to say, well, you know, Jesse sharks are that color, so they should be that color. I'll just want him to use his imagination. And that's what he did with the squid. <laughs> so, the yarns here are some funky looking yarns. But here's the squid. So he picked out this yarn, which is a, I love this yarn. I can't remember now what it's called. I have the ball band over there. <laughs> but it's, I love this yarn. Uh, it's like a... It's white base with like a uh, different color little flecks in it. And then this bottom part, this, the tentacles, is a Mary Maxim yarn that was gifted to me, I believe Christmas time last year. Um, and it's got like sparkles in it. He wanted it like that, so I made it for him like that. This squid was super fast. I made it super quick. He loves his little squid though. He sleeps with us too. He sleeps with everything I make him. He has a gajillion stuffed animals in his room. <laughs> Which is cute because I actually grew up doing the same thing. I had a ton of animals. Alright. Last one from the same book. So far this week. I made the Dumbo Octopus. Jesse didn't ask for this. I just wanted to make it myself. And it was one day when I was, wasn't feeling good. So Devin and Jesse was here doing stuff in the living room. And I was just sitting in bed watching TV. Um, guilty Pleasure TV. I was watching the new season of Tiger King. Because <laughs> that's one of my favorite guilty pleasures is watching... Um, crappy reality type shows <laughs> and uh i'm pretty excited because sister wives is starting back and that's one of my guilty pleasures but i don't have the subscription to watch it anymore so i'm gonna have to i think i might have to re-get discovery plus i think that's what that was on um so i can watch it <laughs> anyways so i'm in the dumbo octopus it's so cute it is a uh, olive yarn also it's pink with glitter in it and it's called pinky toes I couldn't remember that the other day, but yeah, it's a really easy pattern. It's made in uh, four pieces, the top part, and this included, and this is a part, and then the two little ears. But I think it's cute. I'm going to give it to Jesse. I know he'll want it. He has it. I don't think he's seen it yet because I kept it in the bag so he wouldn't run off with it. But yeah, so that is also in that book from Olive. So that's the three amigurumis I made this week. Uh, yeah, three down. How much more to go? <laughs> so next, I also made three squares for my moving stitch blanket. So if you've watched that video, you've already seen these squares. But if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to show them to you now. <laughs> so the base square pattern that I use is called the Simple Says It Best Square by The Perfect Knot. I'll have all this stuff linked below, by the way. 
Uh, so I just picked out my, it's my QRS. So for Q, I used the movie Quince, which is a Disney movie. So I made, so bright, <laughs> I made baby bottles for five babies. And this is a Red Heart Pale Yellow, white. This is a scrap ball of something. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, like gold and some pink. I don't know the scrap balls. Usually all of my little squares like this I use scrap balls for. So I only know some of the colors. All right. My R square was Ratatouille, <laughs> the Disney movie. So I made a cute little rat with a chef's hat. I didn't have enough space to put it on his head, so it's on his ear. <laughs> it looks goofy, but that's okay. This is uh, Red Heart Spring Green, white. That pink again. And the gray is... I think it's a scrap of this. Not the same gray. No, it's different. Then this is just a random scrap ball of gray that I have. I think it's uh, some red hard gray. I don't know. <laughs> but there's my R square. And then my S movie was The Sandlot. And so I just used red hard white and cherry red and made a baseball square. <laughs> it looks a little goofy. But uh, yeah, so that was my Q, R, and S squares. I'll link the square pattern down below if you guys want to check it out. But those appliques, I didn't use patterns. I just made them uh, myself. Yeah, okay. Three more now. All right. Next is going to be these baby things that I made. Technically, this sweater is not done because it needs buttons. I just haven't gotten around to buying buttons. So now I have two baby sweaters that I got to go buy buttons for. <laughs> so I wanted to make some baby stuff out of a mandala ombre cake that I had. Um, just because I'm trying to use it some of my stash. I have a lot of yarn that's just been sitting there. And I want to use it all up. So I pulled out the Mandela Ombre. I think this one was called Balance. I can't remember. Um, and I made this baby sweater. And it's called the Twice as Nice Baby Sweater. By D. Shipman. And it's a free pattern. And I thought it was, I can't remember, really cute. It's just a basic little sweater. I gotta put buttons on it. It's got buttonholes. I just need to get buttons. And it's the back of it. Super quick. I made this, you know, like, in one day. <laughs> um, so I made that with that cake. A really cute little baby sweater. And then I wanted to make a hat to go with it. So this hat is called the Newborn Ribbed Beanie by Jenny Designs. And here it is. Same cake, it's just a different part of it. And I made the pom-pom out of just red heart white. I just wanted it to be a white pom-pom. And uh, this is such a cute little hat. <laughs> I like this pattern a lot. It came out really cute. And then I wanted little booties. <laughs> so um, these booties are called the Classic Wrap Style Baby Booties by Jaden Stitches. She has a written pattern for this and also a video tutorial. So I actually had to watch the video tutorial for this because uh, the written one was worded kind of confusingly when it gets to assembling them. But here's the cute little booties. They're mostly pink. This one's got a little bit of green on the bottom. But for the most part, the pink. And I made little pom-poms for uh, the tops of them. So it's got a whole little baby set here. <laughs> uh, and I just gotta get buttons to finish the sweater. I have another baby sweater on my cart that needs buttons as well. So I need I need to do that. So there's those ones. Let's see what's next. All right, next is my ear warmers. I made two ear warmers. One for me and one for June. Uh, this was on National Princess Day. So I made princess ear warmers. These, both of these patterns are from the same designer. It's called Crochet For You. And it's the crown ear warmer and then the newborn crown ear warmer. So here's the newborn one. It's just, it's made out of that red heart. I love this. No, it's not red heart. I love this yarn. Um, pinky toes. I thought that was cute. So it's just a little crown. <laughs> and then the mama size one. It's basically the same. Where's the, I don't know where the thing, the joint is. But it's just an ear warmer. I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> I definitely want to get a picture of me and her wearing our matching ear warmers uh, after she's born. But it's just a cute little novelty thing that I wanted to make. <laughs> so those are both, these are all free patterns so far, except I guess the amigurumis aren't because you have to buy the book to make those patterns. But uh, all those baby things were free, item, or free patterns. All right, next is my ornament that I made for National Gingerbread Man Day, Gingerbread Cookie Me Day. And it is a gingerbread man uh, pattern by Repeat Crafter Me. It's not necessarily an ornament, but you can make it an ornament, and that's what I did. I made it an ornament. And yeah, so this is um, Red Heart Cafe Latte 
white and cherry red and then I used safety eyes for his eyes and his buttons he's so cute he's made in two panels you make two of the gingerbreads men <laughs> and then you hold them together and top stitch them together and it gives up that ice in effect I think it's really cute I like it I'll hang on my tree eventually <laughs> but I want to share it with you guys again I shared it in a national holiday video and also the recent giveaway video I just I showed it in there so he's super cute I'm gonna make three more of these to give my family for Christmas which I need to do I normally give it to them on Thanksgiving but that our Thanksgiving this year is on Wednesday and I don't know if I'll be able to pop these out before then but I might try <laughs> who knows okay we're getting there all right, I made Jesse a hat. He wanted a new hat because his hats from last year were are too small now because he's got a big head. And he wanted them made to match his squid. <laughs> he wanted it out of these two colors. So I made it. And I know it looks girly, but um, Jesse doesn't care. And me and Devin don't care either. We're, we're not the kind of parents who think boys should wear only blue and girls should wear only pink. <laughs> but uh, so here's the hat. It does fit him. It looks pretty big, but it's uh, it fits him pretty good. So I just used, this is the um, Simple Seed Stitch hat. It's, I made myself one recently that's pink. It's a hot pink color. And I love the pattern a lot because it was it's a really pretty pattern. And uh, it's a pretty quick pattern once you get, get it going. So uh, this is all Seed Stitch right here. The white parts. And then the green parts are half double crochets. Use it like a ribbed effect. And then you put a little brim on the bottom. He likes it. He wore it yesterday. But of course, as soon as I made him a hat, it uh, warmed up a little bit. So it's going to be a while before he wears it again, probably. But um, he likes it. He, he wears my hats sometimes. Uh, he wore one of my hats to school the other day. That is the uh, I Love This Yard Painted Canyon that's really popular. Uh, I made myself a hat and cow set a, f a year or two ago in that. And he wore that to um, school the other day because it was cold and he couldn't find his hat. But I made him this hat finally. This is a really quick pattern. It's kind of confusing when he started off because uh, if you're not used to the seed stitch, especially up here where you're increasing it because it's different, but uh, I really like this pattern. I'll probably make it a whole lot more because it's just a fun pattern, I like it. So there's that, it matches his squid, <laughs> which is what he specifically asked me to do. All right, now the next uh, 17 finished objects are all parts of the Maria's Blue Crown Christmas blanket that I'm working on. So there's 13 squares and four appliques that I finished. Uh, that makes up the 17. <laughs> so I did make four of the green squares. This is Red Heart Patty Green. I love this green. It's like one of my favorite greens. So I made four of the green ones. This morning while watching TV, <laughs> I made four of the red ones. And this is just Red Heart Cherry Red. I like this square pattern as well. It's a really nice square pattern. This is the one that she has for the blanket. I'll have it linked below. If you want to check it out because it's, it's just a really pretty square pattern so four green four red and then i made five Aaron ones i just made this one this morning plus these next four have the appliques on them now these deer appliques are not the ones that was in her pattern because i didn't like it i was starting to work on it i just didn't like the way the pattern was working up so i went on ravelry and was looking for a different deer pattern and i found one that i thought was cute and it's called deer head applique by jenny designs it's the same person who made this hat um, but I thought this deer was a lot cuter and a lot simpler. So I made these while I was on the computer yesterday watching something, either YouTube videos or something, I don't know. So I, I made three of them just with brown noses. So they're like regular reindeer. And this is also three of the other squares that I made. And then the last one I put a red nose on. So it can be Rudolph. <laughs> so there's three regular deer and uh, one Rudolph deer. And the squares. So, I got another whole stack of squares here for that blanket. Uh, I was looking at the pattern this morning to see how much more I have left. I need to make 15 more Aaron squares. I've got to make, I think, four more uh, red squares. And I believe eight more green squares. And then there are, I think, 12 more appliques that I got to make or maybe 16 I had it all in my head and then I forgot but I'm getting there uh, uh, the reindeer was week four so I just started week five that's what these four red ones are for and this one Aaron one that I made this morning 
these are for week five and the application for this is actually gingerbread man <laughs> so um if i don't like her pattern for the gingerbread man i could maybe use this one just make one of them you know instead of the two um but yeah, so I'm getting there slowly. I would love to get this blanket done this year, even if it's after Christmas, just because um, I don't know if I'll get to work on it a lot once I have a newborn. But I, I want to get it all done and have it on my notes to when I get it done to record how I line my uh, blankets with fleece because a lot of people have asked. And I will record that when I get around to it. I just have to get the blanket done first <laughs> in order to do that. But I made a lot of headway. That's a lot of squares. Uh, it's 13 squares all together and then the four appliques. And so I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> so that is all my finished objects this week. I have 15 minutes, almost 16 minutes of finished objects. <laughs> Woo. But like I said, they're all little stuff. And um, I enjoy that. You know, I love being able to pop out quick little things that just take a little bit of time to make. These little booties were super simple and cute. And um, I always love making little appliques and stuff. I mean, amigurumis. And this shark turned out a little bit bigger than I thought. But I did use Aaron yarn, which is slightly bigger than worsted weight but I still love them and Jesse loves them so it's totally worth it get this little tail <laughs> but when I was making it I was like this looks like a dolphin <laughs> and even Jesse he said mama his tail's on wrong and I said no but if it was switched the other way like that I was like it'd be dolphin but when it's up like that it's a shark <laughs> and he was like oh yeah yeah you're right it's just so funny so my only active whip right now is the Maria's uh, blue crown Christmas blanket but I do have the yarn pulled out to make the whale shark for Jesse. Um, he wanted it at first, and then he found the shark shark. So he wanted the shark shark. <laughs> so now I'm going to make the whale shark for him. He picked out a blue, I think it's I love this yarn, like a variegated one that I had for its body and for its mouth. <laughs> like this mouth is open, and in the pattern it's pink, but he didn't want pink. He wanted lime green. <laughs> so the whale shark's going to be blue variegated on the outside of its body and lime green on the inside of its mouth so it's gonna be interesting looking but uh it's what i wanted so i'm gonna do it that way and yeah so there are some other things i want to get started the crochet crowd put out um a cool like turtleneck hood thing that i want to make for myself but i haven't figured out what yarn i want to use i keep looking at my yarns and i'm, I'm trying to figure out which yarn i want to use because i don't know if i want to use a variegated yarn or if i want to use like a solid color yarn but uh, it looks real cozy. It's like a turtleneck that goes up to your neck, you know, and a hood. And it just looks really cool. I want to make that. And uh, I just really want to focus on getting this blanket done and my moving stitch blanket. I only have, what is it? What did I get to? T U V W X Y Z. I have seven more squares to make for it, plus putting it together. I'll crochet it together. And I eventually want to line that blanket too. So, uh, whichever one gets done first, I'll line that one and do a video of it for you guys to see. It's really simple. You only need, um, one special tool and it's a type of rotary blade. I think it's called a skip blade, um, which I'll show in that video. You could just poke holes yourself if you wanted to, but it would take more time. But, um, yeah. So, and you would need like a cutting mat so that you don't cut your table or your floor. Uh. I usually lay it out on the floor with my cutting mat. I have a big one uh, to cut around the fleece. And then you just crochet, you hold the fleece with the crochet border of your blanket and you just crochet through the hole and the stitches and you crochet it all the way together. And then you add like, like another border to it to, if you wanted to, I guess you don't have to. <laughs> but uh, I'll do all that once um, I get around to that point. Hopefully I can get one of these blankets done before I have a baby. But even if um, I don't, you know, I can still film that after she's born. <laughs> Just uh, a day when Devin's home or something can watch her while I'm recording. <laughs> but yeah, so I have a lot of finished objects. And it's mostly because I haven't felt good uh, the last week. So I've been setting a lot and just crocheting. <laughs> and um, yeah, these squares are super easy. I've made so many of them now because I made the Halloween blanket and now the Christmas blanket that it's just in my head. <laughs> and um, so I'll pop these out super fast while watching TV and stuff. It's a really easy pattern. Uh, it would be pretty. I know, uh, like, uh, Stitching Ain't Easy and all that. I was doing a Christmas blanket now, like we did the spider blanket. Uh, this would be a good square for that. And then you could put appliques or whatever on top of it if you wanted to. But uh, I am planning for my Vlogmas because I'm doing a swap with Beverly. 
a scrap yarn ball swap. Last year I made that scrap blanket <laughs> with the yarn that I was gifted, but also I added my own yarn to it. So this year I think I'm going to do something similar to that, except I don't think I'm going to make a blanket. I got a book gifted to me recently that is like Scrappy Projects. I think it's called Boho. But um, I think I might pull something out of there to make out of the yarn that I got from Beverly. I don't know. For sure though, <laughs> I'll have to wait and see. But this this uh, video is already long enough and I just showed a whole bunch of finished objects. Uh, I have some Happy Mail that I'll show in a video in the next day or two. And then I'll search tomorrow's Tuesday. I think I might vlog tomorrow because I'm going to the baby doctor. And um, gonna do a few other little errands. And then Thanksgiving starts Wednesday for us and we're gonna be busy on and off all week. <laughs> so I might have a few vlogs popping up soon and uh, mixed in with crochet videos. So just be on the lookout. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys. Because I haven't got any more whips. Other than that shark I got to start at. That was shark. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get this edited. And put all these links below. It's going to take a minute to get them all together. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff I talked about. And I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.